Hello and welcome to our second Python tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be looking at storing and using variables. A variable is a value that changes. Think of a rugby score being a variable. At the start of the game we assign it a value of zero. As tries are scored and converted we change the variable to seven points or five points. In order to store a variable in the computer we have to give it a couple of things. First we need a name for our variable. Let's call this one score. We then need to assign it. We use an assignment operator that's the equal sign which means we now want to give the variable score a value. Let's give it a value of zero. It's the start of the game. Nothing appears to happen when I press enter. However if I now do score plus seven, we converted that try, the result I get when the expression is evaluated is 7. If I set my value, my variable score, to equal 7 now, what do you think will happen if I put score plus score? When I evaluate this expression, I get 14. I get 14 because my variable score has a value of 7. So effectively I am saying 7 plus 7. Variables do not only have to store numbers we can store text in a variable too. For instance, let's call it player. And we're going to make that equal my player's name. Because this is text, we need to use our brackets and our speech marks. And here we go. I'm the player, Mrs. Gray. Close my speech marks and my brackets. Again, when I press enter, nothing appears to happen. If I now want the computer to print my name, I would say print using my brackets, because we're talking about text here, print player, when I press return and evaluate this expression, I'll get my name. That deals with variables for now. What I'd like you to now try is storing numbers and variables, storing text and variables. See if you can set up more than one variable and get it to add them together. For example, I might have score equals 7 equals 5. Let's make it equal 5. Then I convert that try, so that has to equal 2. If I now say score plus my convert, what do you think I'll get? Yep, I got 7. So I'd like you to go and try some of the exercises on variables and next time we'll be looking at how we can write a program that we can replay over and over again. Okay, so that is goodbye for now.